What's up guys? This is LL here recording for Dockerage and Sun Moon Ubers. This is a new draft game between Fireburn and Grey Oak. And this is and they both belong and Grey Oak is this is Astro Tia's versus uh, I'm not hundred percent sure what Team Grey Oak is on. I think he's on the Leviathans. I might be wrong there. And then Yep, the recording is working well. Okay, looking at the both teams, if you the sets are doubled for fire, so this is just a gray oak sets or like all standard stall sets, and it's a an Arceus Dark on this is really the only thing that you may not 100% be able to realize a team preview. The Necrozma is Double Dance, Xerneas is Scarf Defog, it's DD Mence. Toxic two attacks of water Arceus, standard confide taunt Gothitel, and then SR Precipice Blades Toxic Primal Ground. So, looking at the start, uh, Fireburn leads with Mence against Groudon, so presumably he's just gonna throw out a double edge now. So now, he's just throwing out a double edge as Gray pivots out to his Arceus. Fireburn has to switch out being scared by a possible Ice Beam. So he goes right into Xerneas on the recover. And the and he's probably going to either double into Goth Teller, I was going to say, or Groudon predicting the Toxapex. And he taunts on the Toxic Spikes attempt. And here he's probably gonna confide, yeah. But it reveals a Shed Shell Pex, which is, a, which is pretty problematic for Fireburn, because that means you can't trap with Gothitelle, so he's likely gonna have to take it out with Groudon. Or somehow, with, I think like he has to snap it with a Precipice from Groudon. And right here he goes straight into Groudon as Gray pivoted into Lunala. He throws out a Toxic, which is very good because it breaks Lunala's pseudo multi scale. And he goes out to Gothitelle to sack it to Menacing Lunala's Maelstrom because Gothitelle doesn't really do anything against two Shed Shell users. Obviously. Yeah, it's like very, very useless in this matchup for the most part. I suppose. It could be annoying for Lugia, but Lugia isn't like really that annoying to be alive as long as you have rocks up and sacking something that's relatively useless is a lot more valuable. So, right here, Fireburn's presumably just gonna go for a double edge to kill the Lunala after toxic damage. It is a roll, so it could. So it could potentially not kill, so it potentially could potentially kill, but it could also not kill. And if it doesn't, then Lunala dies after toxic damage. But obviously, if Fireburn gets the roll, he's in a great position, because he'll have his DD Mance alive to be able to throw out double edges through the rest of the game, weakening things such as Groudon and Arceus, as we saw earlier, it wasted a recover. But here... And Grey Oak is probably just staying in to try and take out this Mens because if he gets Mens down, he'll be in a good position because Nala will have taken out a couple of the more annoying things for both your teams to deal with. And Fireburn does get the roll, so he is looking to be in a pretty good position right now. He can pivot out to Xerneas pretty freely here. On the likely ice beam. And boom, it comes out. Yeah, because basically all support Arceus runs ice beam. It's just like a rule of thumb for the most part. All the defog ones at least. When he pivots out to and then Fireburn doubles out to Groudon on the Toxapex and Gray just stays into Toxic the Groudon. Uh, that 
opens up a door for Necrozma Duskmane as Double Dance can just kind of blow through Gray's Oak's team as long as it can get in and set up on one of uh, Lugia or Blissey. And now that he's used, yeah, see, now that he's used up a Precipice Blades to weaken the Groudon, it's really looking bad for Gray Oak, and he's going to have to pivot around very aggressively to stop him from losing to that Necrozma Dusk main. And I'm assuming Firewind's just going to throw out an Ice Beam here, as it as he just wants this Groudon dead, because that results in fewer things. And uh, as I said earlier, this is support to attacks Arceus, so it can't defog away the hazards, but he can defog them away with uh, Xerneas, which he probably wants, so he can switch, so he can pivot into Ments more freely. And what Firebrand's doing here is just toxicing, they're just alternating between Toxic and Heal Bell, so that he can force Blissey to waste a bit of healing PP, and he just goes down there and can go into Xerneas, and as I said earlier, it's Defog, so you can just remove these hazards as Garay goes into Blissey. Now, Mence is pretty free for Fireburn here, but he also can go into Necrozma. Both work, because he end up having to pivot back to Xerne either way, and that Judgment does 23. Which it means that the Xerneas can only switch directly into RC Stark one more time. He's just Moonblasting here, because he, he needs to pressure the... Arceus Dark, here he can just go out to Mence as Garay doubles back into the Arceus to try and get a setup opportunity to prevent the Necrozma from getting a setup opportunity. Firebrand goes into Xerneas, he can potentially double out here, but that is a very risky play. It's a pseudo 50 50 here, and Garay goes into Blissey, and he's just wishing off. Like, he cannot go into the Necrozma Duskmane hard on Blissey because Seismic Toss from Blissey into Arceus Dark does KO it, I believe, and you have to hit either Sword Stance or Rock Polish on the switch to Arceus Dark. If you hit Sword Stance, you cannot Oko it, and if you, I mean, you, you can Oko it, but you're slower, and... If you hit Rock Polish, you're faster, but you can't Oko it. And uh, he gets off a Toxic on the Xerneas, which is very dangerous. Because that means that Xerneas can die from uh, an attack from Arceus Dark. As Grey Whirlwinds Fireburn into that, and he just roosts there. Because if he sets up and this is exactly the sort of situation that Firebrand was looking for originally. He's just spamming Moonblast, which he cannot switch. And Necrozma sets up right here. And wins the game barring a crit from Arceus Dark. It has to be a crit high roll, I think. So the Estes takes a judgment, it does 64%. And... That looks to be the game, I think. <laughs> yes, because uh, I believe that he does need the Z move to KO the Dark Arceus Dark. I might be wrong about that. Uh, he doesn't need it to take out the Chansey. I mean, Blissey. He's at full. So. Yeah, but Lugia loses the last Ron Dusk main. It is, yeah, it is a 50 50 then on whether to use your Z or not. Because, yeah, then that means that Z does kill. Mm -hmm. You guys can see 
-hmm. Yes, it can transform to Ultra. But that's not why it has a 50-50, it's because it's All, yeah, if it's double dance, it isn't usually ultra. It's just SD. Because here he's just gonna, yup, there we go. He wins the 50 50, and Searing Sunray smashes this RC side of the game. And that is the game, because this Lugia can't really, yeah, it's psychic, so it can't really touch at Cosmo. Yeah, and then that ends the game. So Fireburn played this game fairly well. He did a good job chipping everything he needed to with Primal Groudon. He he got about 50% off the Groudon, which was like what he needed to kill with an Earthquake. He got he took out the Tox effects altogether. And then he did a really good job with his play at the end, ensuring that he never had to risk going hard necrozma versus the blissey and take a game losing seismic toss which is very nice and this in the game was overall played really well and until we won the 50 50 at the end thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful day